Hello and welcome to another of my campaign diary videos. The last one seemed not to uh, have gone down too badly. I thought I'd give it another try. Uh, one technical issue you should be aware of is that the last video I did post that on YouTube without realising that it was actually a mirror image of me rather than an actual image. So I've taken the liberty of this uh, video. I've edited it in QuickTime Pro and I have flipped it so the image you're now watching is an actual image and not a mirror image. It doesn't make much difference. I don't suppose you'll be able to zoom in on the titles of the books and DVDs on the shelf behind me but if you had been able to do that in the previous video you would have seen that the letters are all in reverse. Second point I should mention is uh, thank you to Johnny Norfolk. Uh, I'm now wearing a shirt and tie. I took your advice last time. And I know that you're a bit of a stickler for tradition, Johnny. Uh, um, so I have decided to wear a shirt and tie, as all good candidates should during campaigns. I was out this afternoon uh, and this morning. It is now 10 to 6 on Thursday evening. And I'll be going back out after I've recorded this video. And then I hope back in again before the uh, leaders debate being broadcast on ITV1 this evening. Campaigning this afternoon was extremely enjoyable and relaxed, maybe a bit too relaxed. Um, it was beautiful weather. It's always fun and very optimistic feeling uh, when you're campaigning, leafleting, when the sun is shining on you. And I just hope this weather holds up to uh, polling day and including polling day. It always lifts everybody's spirits, not only the campaign team, not only mine, but also the voters, um, crucially been receiving a lot of phone calls today as a direct consequence of the start of the delivery of our free post election addresses which have started to land on people's doormats this morning possibly yesterday as well actually but certainly the phone calls started arriving today I look on that as a good sign if people are phoning me even if they have a complaint one person phoned to complain that we even had his address and wondered how we had managed to get it and we had to explain to him that it is the legal right of any candidate to have access to the full electoral register. But most people are phoning to ask about the Labour campaign, Labour policies, my own opinions on various things and I see that as a positive sign. I don't think these people would be phoning me up if they had already decided not to support me. But yeah, time will tell on that. Um, as you can see from this particular video, I haven't yet got round to having my campaign haircut. I really should get one soon or I will start to look like an old woman. Tonight is, I mentioned earlier, the televised debates. The first one on ITV1, Gordon Brown, David Cameron and uh, Nick Thing, Clegg. I will, of course, watch it. Although I have my reservations about whether or not uh, you know, this kind of debate is appropriate to our particular political system. I do think that the, the momentum behind having these debates is almost entirely a, a media one. It entertains the journalists. It helps Sky News sell advertising. But I don't think at the moment, having not seen the debates, obviously, I don't think it adds or has the potential to add very much to the political discourse in this country during a campaign, it might end up engaging people. I hope it does. I genuinely hope it does, because now that the genie is out this particular bottle, I suspect we won't ever see another election where the leaders don't agree to having these debates. But I don't think this has happened because of public demand. I think this has been entirely the demand of journalists who find it uh, an easy way of covering politics. We shall see. I'll watch it tonight. Carolyn and I are both keen to uh, to see it and uh, I may or may not Twitter during it. I know that a lot of other people will be. So that's it. Um, I'll record another one of these when I have something to say. Um, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the debates. Keep tuning in and I'll speak to you again soon.